Peter D. with BearableTraders.com. I just wanted to share with you my SYMC trade since I talked about it all morning and I was stuck in it all morning. It was a crazy trade for me, despite the fact the stock decided not to go anywhere for most of the morning. So uh, first off, I broke my rule right out of the gate of not trading in the first five minutes. I thought this had made its high uh, with, with the pullback and I expected it to go down. So I actually tried to short right below VWAP, which is interesting, you know, using a market order. Uh, it, it was moving so fast that, look at this. this this was actually one order and I've got a five cent limit on it. What happened is I got a partial fill way down here at 1804 first. Then I got another partial fill back up where I hit, hit it at 1814. Now as far as I know, that shouldn't be possible, but obviously it is based on the, the partial fill I guess. Uh, that, that's how I got the fill, but I swear I only hit the button once. Uh, and then, then the price just sat for a minute or so, basically at what is now my, my high price. And I set a stop right here, okay? So then this spike happens. And I'm telling you, I went into full panic mode because up here was about three times my loss on this trade and frankly, my daily stop loss. I thought I was going to be out uh, at the five minute mark. So basically in panic mode, I said, all right, I'm going to short again here at about 1850. As you can see, it was still moving and I only got filled at 1836 again, two Two partials, one push of the button, um, and, and so I got more here. So this puts my new average somewhere around uh, 1822. Actually, it's exactly where I, I, I marked this line here. So you can see that's my new average. So as soon as I got down below, I sold half my size and uh, and said, thank God. Okay, so I'm, I'm out summit break even. I mitigated some of my risk because now I was double my normal size. Uh, but then it started to drop and I said, okay, this is the drop I'm waiting for. And I added, I added down at this level and I thought, all right, so here we go. This is going to be a, now a great trade for me. But then it started to do this, right? It started to do this rounding uh, and I thought, all right, okay, I'll, I'll sit through it. Starts to drop. Um, and uh, when, when you look down here at the, uh, the 15 and the 5 minute, I'm like, all right, so the 5 minute seems to be supporting. It looks good. Whoops, sorry. This is over here. The five minute seems to look good, but then it starts to spike back up again. And I said, all right, uh, you know, this, I don't know what the hell's happening with this thing. So I decided to get out half of my position again, pretty much at, at break even of where I added it. Um, and, uh, and I rode this thing and I rode it thinking, well, now it owes me. And I just sat this thing out. I should have sold some probably when it got down here because it was retesting for the second time this level. I should have sold some, but I was stubborn. I set my stop loss, uh, at below my new break even, by the way, because I, because I added my break even moved down to about 1807. Uh, and, uh, and once it uh, hit that, I just said, all right, I'm out. Now here, here's a great example. I want you to take note of this little candle. See how those two arrows where I sold here are, are right at the peak. I put, I got tired of watching it because I was wasting all my time and I put in a limit order. That is the market maker or somebody reaching out and grabbing my order because it spiked right up to my level and grabbed me and then moved back down. Look at that. Didn't even hit that level for another hour. Where did it, where did it, it only came back way over here, right at 1103. So, you know, that's why I hate putting stop orders in and I usually just watch it because otherwise uh, you, you get, you get taken out every time and it drives me crazy. Anyways, that's the SYMC trade for today.